G'day guys, I'm Ali. Welcome to my organizing the laundry. So I decluttered this two months ago when we do our annual spring clean and it hasn't lasted. The system hasn't worked. So I'm really going to spend a lot of time today organizing it and giving a really deep clean. If you're new, say g'day in the comments. If you've got any hacks or tips yourself, please write them in the comments. And if you like what other people are saying, give it a thumbs up so that it'll come to the top and then people can see that wisdom. Let's get into it. G'day guys, today I am organizing the laundry. So I'm really excited to share this video with you. I actually did it about two weeks ago. I'm just doing the voiceover tonight and I'm really enjoying the, how organized it is. It is so easy to use. It is so easy to put things back where they belong. So my goal is for 2020 to go room by room and just find some better organizing systems because the ones we've had previously, they're not working. They're not staying organized. I just want to have more time to do other stuff. If you're new to our house, our laundry is down the bottom. It's just off the playroom. I'm Ali, I'm a mum of two, I have a two and a half year old daughter and an eight month old son and I just want to have more time to spend with them just having fun while they're young. So there's some few areas in the laundry that really need a deep clean. So the side of the washing machine has just got grossness there and at the back and when I'm filming this I see there's even clothes behind there. So as you can see with the linen cupboard, I haven't used any storage containers, so I've just stacked them, but it only lasts so long as you can see, and they ended up just being stuffed in. So that hasn't worked, and that's a mistake I've made, but to be honest, I just didn't want to spend the money. It wasn't a priority then, but it is now. I'm just wasting time trying to find stuff, and I want everything to have a home and for it to be in its home. That way, it doesn't matter who puts it back, whether it's Dave or I or even our daughter, we'll be able to put it back in the right spot. So I'm starting this at just after nine o'clock in the morning, as you can see there, and it took me on and off all day, but I'm so proud with how it turned out. So first off, I want to share some of the problems that I've noticed from this. So this is a poor use of space. I'm not using any of the vertical space up the top of the cupboard. I can't actually see what's at the back there. I wouldn't know what products I've got there. This cupboard under the sink is so disorganized. I don't know what's in there, what's behind things. It's just been stuffed in. The next problem is, like I said, nothing is labeled. So where are the single sheets? Where are the double sheets? We don't know, so when we put them back, we just put them wherever there's a spot. So this is a laundry drawer, but I don't use it as that. Um, we basically wash every day or at least every second day. Um, so I don't use this and it's so deep. It's not good for my back to lean in that far. So I store in here um, cardboard boxes that I use for toddler activities and then some old bags. So with those problems identified, it was a trip to Kmart in order. So I grabbed these wash and soak jars. The soak jar was $6.50 and the wash jar was $8.50 instead of having two boxes of washing powder up there. I tossed up about whether I get this, like they look fantastic, but was it actually practical? And yes, it is practical. What I was actually doing when I was scooping it out of the boxes is I was just spilling a little bit. Don't know why, but I was, um, and getting that on the floor. Whereas since I've been using these jar containers, I scoop from the jar container and then carry the lid underneath until I get to the washing machine. And so far I haven't spilt any, so it's working really well. So I'm gonna start off down this end of the cupboard. I'm gonna get out all these bottles, all these boxes. Like I said, I had no idea what was at the back. Turns out I've got like two bottles of methylated spirits, which I was like, what do I really use that for? And I think we used to use it to wash the outside of our windows, which we haven't done for a long time, because when we did it, it was shortly after we moved in and we took off all the um, fly screens and we had such trouble getting them back on. Like it was so difficult. Um, we nearly didn't put some back on. So good luck if you're a burglar because we struggled with it. I had no idea what this white plastic came from. That's why I just dumped it on the shelf. It's what you use to unscrew the toddler stool for over the toilet, which I'm going to have to adjust the footstool for at some stage. So I'm glad I found that. really filthy up here and there appears to be a little bit of kind of orange dirt which I don't know where that's come from so I'm just using a disposable cloth that I'm just gonna chuck out afterwards yeah. 
I bought this duster too from Kmart for $3, but as you can see, it's a little bit floppy. It's got a bit of angle to it, but it still does a really good job dusting. So in the kitchen section of Kmart, I picked up this bamboo drawer for $6.50. Um, I think it's the large one. I do really like the bamboo look and I spend so much time at home and in the laundry doing washing. So I wanted something that I really like the look of. So that's why I went with the bamboo over the plastic one. So I'm removing the stickers from the soak and the wash. What I discovered recently, I used to always just kind of leave stickers on, you know, like your containers in the kitchen, but it's so much harder to get it off later down the track. So this is why I'm taking a bit of time here to make sure I get it off now and then it's done. So I'm filling up the soak and I had one with vanish and one with sard and I thought about it, do I combine them? And then I just went, no, I won't do it. Um, I'll just keep them separate. So to be honest, the only reason why I'm doing this on the bench is because I'm filming it and I thought it'd be a better angle so that we could see the laundry powder filling up the jar. Um, otherwise, I would have done it in the sink because as you can see here, I've just made a mess, which I've now got to clean up. So this iron can go right up the top at the back because I don't iron. I haven't actually ironed since I moved into this house and that was three years ago. Do you iron? When was the last time you ironed? Our previous bird seed that we used, we don't have any pets. So um, we just buy bird seed to feed the native birds. Um, so it's kind of like my daughter's pet. <laughs> um, but one of our previous containers, it kind of got moths in it and stuff. So I'm going to actually transfer this all into this um, old chocolate container so that if there are any bugs in there which I don't think there are on this one they won't fly around so in these videos you're going to be seeing a lot of these command hooks what I really love about them we've used them throughout the house to hang um, glass like whiteboards to write on is that they all have a weight recommendation so as long as we follow the weight recommendation we haven't had any problems here I am just following the instructions that say to use some rubbing alcohol on the area before fixing the command hooks and I do exactly what it says so I hold 30 seconds with the hook on then remove the hook and do another 30 seconds. So the top hook I'm going to use for coat hangers and then I've got to put two more and I'm going to use them for power boards because I want to be able to see the power boards if we need them rather than having them stuffed on a shelf somewhere and I'm not sure where they are. I'm going to leave those for an hour before I actually hang anything on them and I'm going to take out the recycling as well because hey it's already full and overflowing. So I'm going to be using hair ties. Hair ties work so well with the power board. There's so many uses for them hey. This box down the bottom really is just a junk drawer. I had been storing toys and stuff in the laundry because I do a toy rotation. Um, but now Dave and I have moved our clothes out of our son's room. We've gone back to the master bedroom. So there's a lot more space in his wardrobe now. So next I'm removing everything from this shelf and then I'm going to give it a really good clean down the bottom. I'm going to vac up all that dust first off so that I'm not just wiping it around with the wet cloth.
so we've still got this vacuum it's about four years old I think um, we've used it a couple of times especially when the Dyson its battery just dies there's no kind of warning um, so we've used this when we've had visitors coming over and we've needed to vacuum so that little space is looking so much cleaner I've um, got rid of one of the vacuum heads I'm not sure why we'd kept it to be honest I think that's something I'm already really learning with organizing the less stuff you have the easier it is to organize okay so on to linen now so what I want to do is create a little box with just towels for guests face washes and a bath mat the reason for this is my parents do come up pretty regularly to stay and instead of being trying to grab towels and then find face washes I just want to have all the white linen in a box so I can just grab the box and take it upstairs I'm getting rid of this delicate bag it looks like it's got a sharp zip a lot of our clothes especially t-shirts down the bottom come with these like four or five little holes and they're in my shirts Dave's shirts and honestly I don't know what it is I've been getting rid of some other delicate bags that I thought could be them honestly don't know what's doing it but this is sharp so it's going So where I'm standing here the washing machine is behind me so I'm going to put the wash and soak here as well as our little cleaning caddy. I'm just using a hand washing basin at the moment until I find a cleaning caddy that I really like. So with containers for all this linen I'm not going to be buying any I'm just going to use what we've already got. Um, so just boxes, tubs. I grabbed these tubs for $20 for five or six from the reject shop a few years ago and I used them in my wardrobe. Um, but at the moment I'm not <laughs> so I'm going to use one here and I'm just going to use this tub that was the junk tub <laughs> use it for something constructive So the other thing I discovered by putting them in boxes is I'm blown away how many like cot sheets I've got here. We've got so many because when we bought our cot and change table from a lady on Facebook, she gave us these as well. So we haven't actually bought any cot sheets, so we'll be passing these along too. So this storage cube I'm using is from Bunnings. It's just $5. We've got them in nice bright colors. We've got red, green, purple. That's the four we've got. And we've got about five of them used around the house. As you saw, I've used them for toys. Um, I've got one full of ball put balls and other balls. And now we've got one with towels in it. So this bath mat I'm looking at and I'm going would I give this to a guest and it's got like bleach stains on it or something so it's going. This is a hack that I use and absolutely love and that is using the pillowcases and putting the sheet sets in it so that when you pull it out you've got the whole sheet set ready to go. The reason we've got a car seat up there is our friends gave it to us when they were decluttering. I know we'll probably use it in the future and I didn't want it in the garage with spiders so we're keeping it in the laundry. So 
So I thought to organize the sheet sets a bit better that I'd use a washing basket. We've got three washing baskets. I don't need that many. So I'm going to use one with the flannelette sheets to put in it. As I was doing this, it became really apparent how many sheet sets we've got. Like we do not need to buy any more linen. And then I came across this pillowcase that I thought was for a single bed and what? There is black sheets in here. <laughs> so, so much for my hack. <laughs> it does work if you actually follow it. So I got this storage container from Kmart. It was $4. It was on clearance. So I don't know if they're actually changing the type. Um, but yeah, it was $4 and it's got nice rollers and I really like it for shoe polish as well as some instructions and screws and stuff for the baby furniture that like I said, once we're done with it, we will resell it. So just doing some more cleaning down the bottom here. So there's some of Dave's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu stuff that actually now I've moved things around. There's a space up above. So I'm going to put that up there. So we've got more room down the bottom because there was a few things that I took from where the vacuum was. So I've got a fan. I need to find a spot for that. And there was a bucket with some tiling stuff. Dave's doing some tiling outdoors. So I need to find a spot for that as well. I was on and off in the laundry all day. It honestly took me all day to get it organized and cleaned. Here's the main stash of light bulbs, so I need to put them in a container or something rather than just shoving them behind the sink here. And that's what I kind of mean. I wasn't using containers to store like-minded things. I was just kind of putting it in an area and thinking that was enough. Well, it hasn't lasted, so it's not enough. So I'm going to try this new system and hopefully it works better for our family. This clear plastic zip bag I've been saving. Um, it came with like a doona set, I think, or a sheet set. I'm gonna put Dave's gardening clothes in here. I'm not gonna declutter these, but I did tell him, Dal, you've got a lot of clothes for the garden. You can only wear one at a time. So he's gonna have a look through it soon and work out what he actually needs. The great thing about having the see-through bags is you can see what they are. So I'm putting in some super absorbent cloths as well as my apron. To start the rebuilding of life. And then it turns out I do have quite a few delicate bags. So I'm using this dollar container from Kmart. I'm going to put it in there and I've got it right at the front because I do use delicate bags regularly, especially with bras. On my skin. And on to the last drawer. So I'm going to pull everything out here. We used to keep our downstairs rubbish in here as well. So as you can see, some of it's fallen out. We haven't cleaned it. There's my daughter's hair. Um, so I'm going to give that a really good vac first and then give it a wipe out. This morning half so clear a lot as any to see the horizon and the far. 
So I'm going to give it a really good vac and then I'm going to put this bucket in here with Dave's tiling stuff. I don't want the kids getting into it at all so it'll be safe in here because there's no way they can reach it. I'm just keeping those bags there because I use them as bin liners. They work really well. And then I'm going to give the surface a spray and a clean. I'm not going to go as deep as what I was hoping but I'm going to try and give it an all round clean. And then to be honest, I think this is probably the most important step in the organizing process, and that is labeling everything. There is no way we can maintain it if Dave walks in and doesn't know where the single sheets go. So I have labeled everything. Next room I'm going to be tackling is our family bathroom. Thanks heaps for watching. Bye.